<clears throat> so uh, three different ways to categorize clustering methods. Um, so which methods are we going to talk about? Well, believe it or not, we actually have seen one clustering method already. If you think back to the nearest neighbor lecture, right, uh, we had a method called KD trees, and we used it for speeding up the finding of nearest neighbors. And we said that it's a good method in low dimensionality. Right? If you have a few dimensions, then uh, you can have your data set and start slicing it at the, at the medians, and that creates little buckets. And then you can use these buckets to find nearest neighbors a little bit quicker. Right? So what kind of a clustering method is KD trees? Well, it is monothetic. Right? because we're using a couple of attribute values to define what's in the cluster. Everything in this cluster has x1 bigger than 6 and x2 smaller than 9, I guess. Right? So that's, it's a monothetic cluster. It has a particular <coughs> um, a, a short description to it. It is hard clustering in the sense that an element is either in this cluster or it's in some other one. It can't fall into both of them. Um, and it is hierarchical, right? because a KD tree is a tree so first you compare first element and then so on. So it is actually building a hierarchy. It's not very deep or interesting, but it is a hierarchy. So it's a hierarchical method. Um, that one we already talked about. Uh, the ones we'll cover from now on, we'll look at k-means. So uh, it's a polythetic clustering method with hard boundaries. And basically what it does is you have a population. You tell it how many clusters you want to find. So you have to tell it how many you want to find. And it will go and find them for you uh, in, a, in, a, in a very suboptimal way, but it will. Um, uh, we'll talk about Gaussian mixtures. They're really similar uh, to k-means. They, they're not presented that way. They're, they're presented in a totally different way, usually. You're fitting Gaussians to the data. Uh, but really, Gaussian mixtures, is, it's, it's identical to k-means. The only thing that, that is different between them, in, in a k-means clustering, you have hard boundaries. And in Gaussian mixtures, you have soft boundaries. So an element can belong to more than one Gaussian, but it typically only falls into one k-means cluster. <clears throat> uh, we'll also talk about agglomerative clustering. So it's a hard clustering method, but it builds a taxonomy or a hierarchy out of your data set, not just a flat uh, partitioning.